Hello guys, have a nice day. It's nice to see you again. So for today's video, I'm going to show you my STC 1000 that I ordered from AliExpress. So I want to share how to calibrate it. This is the model STC 1000. This is just for thermostat controller for incubator. I recommend this because this is simple, easy to set up. We have this unit comes along with the manual, the instruction on how to set. Anyway, I ordered this from AliExpress, five dollars US dollar, for approximately two hundred fifty pesos. So I ordered from China to Korea, and uh, the shipping fee is more than uh, two dollars. So almost half of it, the the, uh, the total price is the amount of uh, delivery fee so today i am going to show you how to calibrate it okay let's get it started so we will uh, remove this covering here at the back okay and by the way this is the model of 100 to 220 volts there are also some uh, models which is 12 volts or 24 volts we need to power up numbers 1 and 2 pin is the power supply we prepared the wire for this we will uh, connect now to the terminal 1 and 2 yeah. Another one. They're connecting. Gently tighten the screws. We are now ready for the calibration. So this is the sensor. It's time for us to power up. Putting this plug into the 220 volts and see what happens yes it's already power up so the next thing we need to do is to calibrate this the purpose is that we can have the accurate uh, temperature in order for us to incubate the eggs properly so what we need is a mug of ice cold water so we have ice and the water inside of it and as we know that the principle the freezing uh, temperature of uh, water water is zero degrees celsius the initial uh, reading now the temperature is 21.7 degrees so what we are looking for is zero degrees celsius so let's dip this uh, sensor into this ice cold water see what happens the temperature abruptly decreasing so what we are looking for is zero degrees celsius because as we know that uh, the freezing Temperature of water is zero degrees Celsius. So we will wait until the reading goes down below to zero degrees Celsius. After waiting for five minutes, we can now see the actual uh, 
temperature so what we are looking for is zero degrees celsius but the reading now is minus 1.2 so how many degrees we need to step up in order to make the temperature zero zero so we need to set it to positive 1.2 degrees celsius so we will go to the setting just uh, press this for three seconds the s for setting then one number four i want to show you one two three four f4 so press twice then after that we need to change this now we want to set it for 1.2 okay then now let's check the actual reading so we already set it to 0 degrees 0 0.2 degrees celsius so that's already minimal it's okay zero degrees celsius so it's already done also teach you how to set f1 f2 f3 and f4 so what are the correct settings for f1 so let's go to f1 it must be 37.8 degrees celsius so that means to say when the temperature reads the 37.8 degrees celsius the heater will automatically shut off okay let's see the setting in f2 f2 the setting must be 0.6 degrees celsius it means to say that when the temperature decreases from 37.8 degrees going to 37.2 degrees celsius when the temperature calls off then the heater will automatically turn on so the setting must be 0.6 in uh, f2 okay i'll show you once again f2 the setting must be 0.6 now let's go to f3 this time the f3 must be zero not applicable because f3 is for uh, setting the cooling system Okay, so the F4 is for calibrating in order to make a correct reading. Now, the reading that we have is 0 degrees Celsius because the freezing point is 0 degrees Celsius. So this thermostat is now in a calibrated uh, settings so notice if i lift up this sensor the temperature will rapidly go up yeah i hope this uh, video somehow helps you to create your own diy incubator so if you have any questions please ask in comment box below thank you for watching and please don't forget to share like and subscribe to our channel see you again next time i will update you for the actual wiring of the complete set of my diy incubator